Hey, Anne. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Well, I've just been working on some circle group uh, stuff for uh, some of the churches around here, and it got me thinking a little bit more about the big topic of conversation going on in Anglicanism right now and um, our predictions about our future. And I think one of the ways, actually, to renew our faith communities is to renew the culture of our faith communities. And circle groups can be a really great way of doing that, and that's some work that I've been doing with a number of different churches. And I found it to be a really powerful way of getting together as a people, because circles get us out of being top down, where the loudest voice has um, the most sway, and the quiet voices are never heard. When we gather into a circle, everybody has a voice, and that voice is equal. And we can use circles um, when there's been disagreement or even harm done. And we can use circles um, to make decisions. We can also use circles just to be together as a people and think about our life and our future and really hear from one another. I think that can be one of the most important things of all is for us just to be a people willing to hear each other, to hear what everybody has to say. That can lead to such health and such growth in our communities. I've got this lovely um, tool that we use in circles. This is a tool we use to describe um, com communication. And it opens up like that, and it shuts down like that. And it's because sometimes in communication, if perhaps the bully has the loudest voice, or if the finger of accusation gets pointed at someone, how does that make you feel? It makes a lot of us feel like that, closed and spiky. And so what we want to do is help people open up, share their hearts, and feel safe. Isn't safety one of the most important things in the faith community? And I add to all too often, safety is the thing that is missing and holding us back. So we use circles to make everyone feel safe, restorative, and part of the community. Where does circle approach come from? Well, the restorative circles actually originate in indigenous cultures from around the world. It's as a way that um, an approach to justice uh, and it came into the restorative justice movement as a way of moving things out of the court system um, and helping communities solve issues on their own together and from there it's moved into schools and churches uh, originally as a way to deal with issues of harm or shame where hurt has happened but it's also grown into this movement as a way of really being together as people that brings everyone to the table in a safe way and gives everybody a share and a voice in the life of the community. So if you want more information about that, you can check it out. You can look online, circle groups, restorative approach, restorative approaches to faith communities, or ask me. I'm always happy to come out and lead a circle group in your church too. It can be just the thing that helps shift a culture away from top down to true community and move you forward into a new kind of growth.